we were supposed to be on our way to Germany, but that happened. Our flight got cancelled, like our first flight to Helsinki. And then the next one was so late, we couldn't make it to the flight to Germany anymore. And the next flight isn't until tomorrow morning. So now we are stuck in a hotel waiting for that. So basically our next flight is in like 11 hours at this point, I think. Yay. Yay. We are both very delighted about this whole situation. But hopefully we'll make it to Germany without any further issues tomorrow. This trip has not started well. to our hotel only took way too many hours longer than it was supposed to and it's really hot here thankfully not in the hotel but outside yeah, i'm freshly showered and access in the shower now and then i guess we'll head out to find the bus to the academy and yeah that's gonna be the next adventure i was kind of on the fence on whether i want to go with ox or not because i'm so tired from traveling but i also don't know what else I would do and I feel a bit more alive after taking a shower so I guess I'll see how I feel but hey at least we finally made it here it was such a pain and the hotel gave us complimentary mineral water so there's that that do a little update before I head out again now that I'm a bit more alive <laughs> been a rough couple of days I don't think I've even explained why we are in Germany right now basically Ax has this event related to his work called KDE Academy which he's currently at and I'm being lazy and staying at the hotel I plan on going out in a bit I went with him to the event yesterday for a couple of hours and <laughs> as I expected I understood nothing of the talks that they were doing there because it was mostly like presentations and stuff and obviously it was about stuff related to Linux nerd things which I know only very <laughs> minor things that Ax has explained me because he like works for this company that works on KDE Plasma which is a desktop environment for something something Ax can explain better so yeah basically he's there doing nerd things now and I'm just gonna do some fun touristy things today I plan on going to the nearby bridge that people seem to call the wine bridge I forget what the actual name is but anyway there's like a couple of places that sell glasses of wine and you can take the glasses and go walk around the bridge and stuff but that sounds really chill and since it's Sunday a lot of places are not going to be open but I'm gonna be at least like find a cafe to grab lunch at I think and then there's gonna be this social event at the beer garden this evening for the academy so I'm gonna go there with them because I have like registered for the event even though I have actually nothing to do with KDE at all <laughs> I'm gonna go hang out there because the social event sounded fun and the beer garden looks really pretty from what the pictures I saw yeah as you have seen from the earlier clips, it has been a rough start to our little journey. Because like first our flight to Helsinki got cancelled and then that fucked up our whole schedule. And we didn't get here until yesterday afternoon when we were supposed to be there like Friday evening. And then yesterday it was like super hot. It was like over 30 degrees the whole day and that was kind of miserable. Because it's basically fall in Finland now so... We are not really used to that anymore or well I've never been used to it and I was so worried I was gonna like burn the shit out of my face again because obviously my sunscreen was in my suitcase and then we had to like walk like 20 minutes to our hotel from the train station so I was so sure I was gonna burn thankfully I think I have only burned like the top of my forehead and also a funny story my sister has been taking care of the lizard this weekend but today she's swapping with my mom and she's my mom is gonna like look after them until we get home and apparently my mom had started cleaning our apartment like immediately my sister keeps sending me updates about it and i'm just like 
Mom, why? You don't have to do that. Stop. She had like brought her own cleaning supplies, so this was clearly pre-planned. <laughs> I guess our place is gonna be very tidy when we get home. <laughs> yeah, let's go have some adventures. been for a while now already but I needed to shower because it was kind of humid outside <laughs> and that ended up turning into an actual rain which kind of forced me to come back here but I was kind of done with my exploring anyway. I basically ended up just walking across the wine bridge and I got myself my drink finally. A little limoncello spritz which was delicious and then I spent way too long just looking for a place to eat because it was so busy in the city it felt like every single cafe or restaurant or anything was just packed full of people and my anxiety said hell no <laughs> not going to any of those but i ended up finding this one place that was just basically selling food to bring with you and it was like a fish place they did like sandwiches and stuff with fish in them <laughs> and i ended up having fish and chips in germany which is kind of funny but it was actually really good, so I'm not mad about it. I'm kind of bummed because the social event that was supposed to be this evening got cancelled by the venue because apparently there's like a thunderstorm warning, which sucks because... <laughs> I was kind of hoping to do something fun still today. I guess if Ax feels like it, we can still go out. And Ax got me a t-shirt from the event because they were selling these different designs of the, I guess, KDE logo. But they were like really cute and they had like only two lime green ones and two pink shirts left. And I was like, well, the pink is my size. I'll take one. So Ax got me one so I'll have at least something to bring home. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. Ax is over there, he's a bit sleepy. I'm all, all awake. <laughs> we just came back from a little dinner with some Ax's friends. Well, his academy friends. Hey, now you can explain what academy actually is. <laughs> A uh, bunch of nerds talking about Linux and KDE software together. What's KDE? <laughs> <laughs> it's a group of people that make uh, free and open source software. Oh, there you go, now you have a better explanation. Basically, if you have a Linux PC, you can install our stuff. Uh, well, you can install some of our stuff in uh, Windows too, but they're all free and open. So you can, uh, if you are a programmer type, for example, you can just download the source code and start hacking on them if you want to fix our bugs. <laughs> so this academy thing is for like people who work on it as volunteers or as paid contractors or whatever. Because some companies like uh, Valve, Valve, how do you say it? Valve, Val Val Valve, Valve, yes, Valve. Use it. He's one of those paid contractors. You don't need to tell everyone. <laughs> Let me brag. But anyway, that's the reason why we have been here in Germany. Now we, we can finally have a proper explanation because my explana explanation sucked. But yeah, today we have been having a bit more of a chill day. So basically we went to lunch at this cafe slash restaurant called... I forget. Anyway... That was its name. I forget. <laughs> Brook or something. Anyway, we had this really cool, good like, they were like super thin pizzas. What was the thing it was called in the Discord? Flamenkuchel or something? Yeah, our German friend gave us the correct name. I can put it on the screen. I have the magic of editing because I don't remember. But anyway, they were really tasty. They had like, they were like really thin pizza crust and then like sour cream and bacon and onions and it was delicious. And then we did some shopping around the city. Finally, we haven't really gotten around to that yet because yesterday was Sunday and everything was closed. 
And I finally got to buy some books and we also bought chocolate. I bought 25 euros for worth of chocolate. Oh yeah, I got also got this bookmark. It's really pretty. Did it get damaged? Also, you sewed it the wrong way around. Really? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Uh, it's just a little bit, maybe a little bit soaked. It's fine, I can clean it. It's orange juice bookmark. Yeah, <laughs> there was a bit of an accident at the bakery. But we got some chocolate. This is like panna cotta chocolate thing. And then basic milk chocolate. And then this, I don't know what this is. Uh, it was, I think it was called strong and bitter. I already tried it. It's basically very dark chocolate and it was good. Yeah, and then Ax got a bag of different chocolates. I got everything. Thing. Yeah, because there was this thing that 100 grams of this was like 5 euros. So That's I'll... 15 euros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just took a bunch. So we have some chocolate to bring home or eat before we even get home. Who knows? And then I got my books. So I got the Days at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Akisawa. With orange juice. Yeah, everything is with orange juice and private rice by Julia Armfield, which I'm very excited about because I loved Our Wives. Our Wives Under the Sea. Why did I forget that title? I heard Our Wives Under the Sea. Wives? Oh, it's wives. I, I thought that you wives meant... Wives as in multiple wives. I thought you people. meant wilds. No, it's wives. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I heard correct. Yeah. So this is Julia Armfield's newest book and I have tried listening to this in audiobook but for some reason I just kept losing track of it. it the writing is just for some reason really hard to follow on audio so I'm excited to try it in physical form. And yeah there has been an orange juice incident. You can I don't know how much you can see but basically we were getting some bread and stuff at this one bakery and we also got like two bottles of orange juice and they, they were glass bottles and I had like put them on the counter with the paper bag with the chocolate and the books and I guess I knocked them off the counter with my bag and the bottle shattered <laughs> and the books met orange juice. I don't think we did anything. Oh yeah, we got ice cream. Yeah, we got ice cream and we had a nap and went to dinner and I had really tasty sushi. It was like tuna nigiri, which I have only tried salmon nigiri before and I feel like maybe I have just had bad sushi, but I have never really cared for that before. But this tuna nigiri was really delicious and I was very happy and it's like the perfect size meal this late in the evening. I ate the duck. <laughs> yeah, he had duck. It was really nice. But anyway, I guess we're gonna relax and chill for the rest of the night and tomorrow will be some more adventures and we're gonna have dinner with Axe's co-workers in the evening and that's gonna be our final full day in Germany. If I look like a disheveled mess, I just got back from the city. I had a little shopping adventure by myself since Ox has been at the academy today. It was a very nice time just wandering around by myself. And I managed to run out of cash, which is actually a very good thing to know if you're tra traveling to Germany for the first time. A lot of places like don't accept either credit cards or just non-German debit cards even. So you better carry cash. Some places only accept cash. Here's a travel tip for you. Anyway, I just went for a little adventure. Like I found this cafe that was completely empty when I got there. And it was kind of awkward just wandering in there, trying to see if there were even any employees anywhere even though I knew it should be open because <laughs> I checked. But yeah, I had like a couple of waffles for lunch there, which was very healthy, I know, but they were delicious. And from there I went 
to adventure to a couple of places. First I checked out this little paper and stationery shop. It was really cute and it, they had like lots of notebook, notebooks and like some craft supplies too and yeah sadly I ended up not buying anything because like the notebooks that I wanted were really expensive and I really don't need more notebooks so I decided to move on and then I had also seen on google maps that there was like a comic book store almost just across the street but unfortunately that one wasn't open <laughs> which is a bummer because it would have been fun to check out because they advertise that they have like manga and video games and stuff so I just kind of wandered back towards the more city center area. There was also a toy store which I didn't get any footage of but I really wanted to buy this little wooden tractor for my nephew because he's really into like farm toys as far as I know but the place was one of those that only accept other cash or German like debit cards and I was running low on cash so that wasn't really an option anymore so I had to leave it there because I couldn't be bothered to go get cash just for that. I also happened to just walk by this one clothing store that for some reason caught my eye and I ended up going in there and browsing a bunch and I actually ended up buying myself a cute shirt there. Uh, first of all how cute are their bags? <laughs> I've noticed a lot of German stores always like give you paper bags instead of plastic bags which is great. It was this store called Suarey that I got this cute shirt with hearts on it because like it was on sale and pretty affordable and I can show you like a better try on clip after I've showered and I'm less gross but yeah I thought this looked really cute they had a lot of other cute tops as well and I was so tempted but like this alone was like 30 euros even on sale so I decided to only get one with uh, and I, it was a good thing I did because they also only accepted cash from me <laughs> I also got a uh, tea to bring back to my mom. Oh, it's in English on this side. Nice. So it's an autumn tea, creamy and spicy, flavored black tea and spice blend. So these are like tea bags. This was like a whole tea store that had like a wall of just tea. So it was like a very specialized store. I figured I'd bring my mom little something since she's been lizard sitting and apparently cleaning our entire apartment. So <laughs> just at least a little thank you. I also finally stopped by this place called Cinnamood. It's like this. Apparently they do like fancy coffee and also cinnamon rolls and naturally we had to try these. Oh good, they have survived being tossed around in my bag. So I got like a strawberry cinnamon roll for myself and a salted caramel one for Ox. They look so freaking good. I have never tried cinnamon rolls like this before. So this is something completely different and I hope they'll be delicious. I had my little adventures and I also needed to get one more glass of wine at the wine bridge since we are going home tomorrow. And that was also very nice because the weather has been really great today. It's like not too hot, but it's also not rainy and not like horribly sunny. So it's not like unbearably hot, even though it's like over 20 degrees. Tomorrow we will have to wake up so early and start the trip home. And I really hope nothing goes wrong this time. And bless my mom, she said she'll have dinner ready for us when we get home. Because I don't think we'll have much time to like grab much food on the way. Like I know we'll have time for breakfast at the airport in Frankfurt, but then the transfer in Helsinki to the next plane, we'll only have an hour to do that, assuming nothing gets delayed or cancelled on us this time. So we likely won't have much time to grab a bite there. Uh, it'll be nice to have actual food waiting at home. <laughs> I guess I'll update you guys at the latest when we are back home. Guess whose flight got cancelled? Again! <laughs> and we were supposed to be home at like 5 p.m. Now we are gonna be home at like 1 a.m. Finally. It's like, well, now it's like almost 3 a.m. but we got home at like 1. So we can just chill now and watch 
crush test wiki and sleep. We made it back home successfully. Thankfully there were no more issues with the flights after the initial cancellation. And Tiamat is very happy we are home too, I think, even though she won't admit it. Yeah, are you happy? Yeah, it was a really nice trip overall. The only bumps were like the actual getting there and getting home. But otherwise, I'd say I speak for the both of us that we had fun. I know Ax had fun meeting all his, all of his people. <laughs> and it was nice meeting lots of new people too, even though I was basically a party crusher there. I'm not even a Linux user. Ax is working on it, but I'm not. Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, I had fun adventuring around the city, trying different wines, because apparently Würzburg is like a very wine city, so <laughs> I think I tried something every day. I'm just really tired now. Uh, it's very nice to be home. And I did miss this little guy. My mom and sister took good care of her and Nebs. But still, it's nice to be here. Nebs was like immediately begging for food when we got home, which was really funny. I had to like feed her immediately. Since I know Ax will be sharing this video around, I just want to say it was nice to meet everyone that I did get to meet. It was really fun and I will probably be accompanying him to events in the future as well because I know he doesn't like traveling by himself. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little travel vlog. I will try to start making more videos again since I have got the time now and I just want to get back into it. Thanks for following us along the trip and see you in the next video. Bye!